Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I get a lot of people ask me on a regular basis, how can I start eating one meal a day on an everyday basis, which some people call the OMAD diet. So I'm gonna share with you how you can do it from what I've learned from my own personal experience of eating one meal a day. And I find eating this way really, really easy and I get no hunger whatsoever even when 24 hours into fasting on water only. So what I first wanna mention is about what you can be consuming whilst you're in the fasted state that will not break you out of it. So number one, water is not gonna because it contains no calories whatsoever. Anything with calories, you want to be avoiding at all costs. There's some people saying that you can have around 50 calories, but I do not believe that from the research that I've looked into and learned from certain people that I really, really trust. Black coffee is absolutely fine. Zero calorie drinks, but most of them contain artificial sweeteners and other toxic substances, so they're best avoided. Apple cider vinegar and various other zero calorie drinks. Don't be consuming anything like juice because some people ask me if we do that it contains calorie and no coconut water either. But what I will mention is that Dr. Rhonda Patrick in a video that she was being interviewed by Joe Rogan on his YouTube channel. She actually said if you're consuming anything except for water during your fasted state that it fires up your metabolism and that will break you out of a truly fasted state. So you won't necessarily get the full benefit. So I do recommend that you try and do it with water, but if you're new to it, have something like black coffee or apple cider vinegar. And as you get more used to one meal a day, then you can start to have water only. And what I say from my own experience, I've done water only from the beginning. And I have an abundance of energy throughout the day. I'm an entrepreneur that runs multiple businesses. I'm very busy in my life. I train with very hardcore calisthenics exercises on a regular basis and I do it in a completely fasted state and I feel absolutely amazing throughout my whole day and my health is just at the highest that it's ever been and I have a super super low body fat as you can see doing pretty damn well and yeah got quite a ripped body and a lot of people ask me how much water should you be drinking it varies from person to person depending on how hot the country you live in how physically active you are and many different factors as well so just drink when you feel that you need to drink. Don't just drink a set amount because someone tells you to because we're all different. So it shouldn't just be a specific set amount. And what I would say with me, most of my fasting is done in a dry fasted state, which means abstaining from all food and liquids completely. But I don't necessarily recommend this to someone that is new to one meal a day. This is just something that's naturally occurred for me over time. And it has been actually shown through scientific research that I will put a link down below for, that dry fasting actually burns fat three, yes, three times faster than fasting on water only, which is absolutely amazing. But this is something you wanna be very careful and cautious with, do your research on it, and yeah, just don't jump into it with no knowledge and no experience. I say, if you're gonna get into dry fasting, do it for shorter periods of time, then increase it gradually over time. But yeah, just be very, very careful, because this, can induce very intense detoxification symptoms in you and some people it can just make them feel awful. So make sure that you stay safe. And the reason I do this, like I said, my body naturally wants me to do this and I know when my body needs water because I feel a very strong urge and desire for it. So then I will drink water. But if I'm drinking water, the majority of the time I only drink around 300 milliliters of water. But if I'm a lot more active and I'm sweating a lot and I'm in the sun, like on this beach, then yeah, I will need more water. So my water intake varies from day to day depending on many different things. So now onto the food side of things. A lot of people recommend with one meal a day calorie restriction. I do not at all. I eat around 3,000 to 4,000 calories per meal when eating one meal a day that I do every single day. And if you'd like to see what I eat in a day, I'm gonna put a link for one video here and one at the end, and you can search up my channel for many what I eat in a day videos where I live in Thailand and eat at many different amazing restaurants. So yeah, for me, I eat a whole foods plant-based diet. I do no calorie counting, no calorie restriction. I'm allowed an unlimited amount of calories and whatever foods I want, as long as they are plant-based vegan foods. But what I say is you don't necessarily need to eat this diet because doing one meal a day, it will help you achieve the body type that you want to give you a low body fat percentage and increase your muscle mass at the same time, if that's what you're looking for, with any type of diet. 
that you're eating, which is absolutely amazing because so many people are told that you need to eat all different types of diets that could be very, very restrictive to get the weight loss benefits that you're looking to achieve whilst increasing your muscle mass. But this is why I call one meal a day and intermittent fasting in general, the ultimate weight loss hack. But I do always recommend you try and eat as many whole foods that are plant-based because they're high in water content, high in fiber, they got an abundance of nutrients in that help improve your digestion and your health overall. So yeah, make sure when you are eating that you eat as many calories as you possibly can because I found when I've tried to do some calorie restrict, I don't have an abundance of energy throughout the day. My mind doesn't work so well. I don't have as much motivation, no drive. Yeah, it just doesn't work for me at all. And I find that I get hungry very, very easily. So from my own experimentation, I found once I started increasing my calorie intake to around three to 4,000 calories per my one meal a day, it was easy for me to fast, 22 to 24 hours a day. And even when I get to 24 hour period, I still have experienced no hunger and I still have amazing energy levels. But for me, I know that I should be eating some food because yeah, I don't wanna be fasting any longer than that because I just feel, at least for me, that it's completely unnecessary. So yeah. Don't restrict at all, eat like a warrior, eat as much as you want. And yeah, you could experiment with this and find out how much you need to eat. Maybe you don't need to eat as much as me, but I have found the sweet spot for me and it works really, really well. And yes, you feel very, very full after. There's a lot of people say they feel bloated, but no, you are just got your stomach full of food. And if you're not used to eating a lot of food, you just train your body to eat more and more and more. So slowly build up. Say for example, when you get into running, don't start running marathons. You start with running small amounts, like 500 meters, then a kilometer, then two kilometers, three kilometers, five kilometers, and so forth. So it's training your body to be eating a large quantity of food over time. And a lot of people say to me, don't you feel like crap afterwards? Don't listen, it drop your energy levels massively. Well, if I'm in my very high energy state and I've been sleeping very well and going to bed early and looking after myself, a lot of the time I actually feel energized from the food and actually work for hours afterwards as well. So from my own experience, no, it doesn't make me feel absolutely rubbish and awful. But maybe it would if you eat in certain types of unhealthy foods, who knows, but I don't eat any like highly refined processed garbage foods at least the majority of the time. And for me, I eat anywhere from an hour to two hours. So it doesn't matter how long you eat for, just make sure it's one meal and it doesn't matter if it takes quite a while or a very short period of time, it's gonna vary from person to person. And for me, which a lot of people ask me is, when do you break your fast and when do you stop eating? It variates from day to day. So I fast anywhere normally from around 21 to 24 hours. And the reason why it variates is sometimes I'm just doing a lot more in my day, so I end up eating a lot later because I've been so busy. And then other times, friends might wanna go out to restaurants earlier, so we go out earlier. Or if there's a buffet that's quite late or at night, then I will go at that time. So there's many different reasons why I eat at a different time. But as long as I'm fasting a minimum of 21 hours a day, but preferably up to 24 hours, that's when I start to get the full benefits. And it has been shown through scientific research that fasting for longer periods of time, especially past the 20 hour mark, is where you start to get the full benefits for it massively increasing testosterone levels in men by 200 to 400%, females 130%, human growth hormone levels in females by about 1,300%, 2,000% in men. You also get greater benefits for autophagy, which is your body is eating up undigestible proteins and mitochondria that's not working so well in cells and then it creates new ones in the body. It's like self-cannibalism in the body. And it also gives you greater benefits for increasing your longevity. It also gives you greater benefits for lowering insulin and improving insulin sensitivity and so many other different benefits. So yeah, the longer you fast, the greater benefits you get. So this is why I found from my own personal experience, switching from the 16-8 intermittent fasting method, which is around fasting 16 hours a day and eating for around an eight hour window, in comparison to one meal a day, I just feel a lot better overall because it's given me greater benefits with hormonal production and the other different benefits that I've mentioned. And for me, in this way, I'm able to keep a super low body fat percentage all the time. I don't do bulking, I don't do cutting, I do what is known as lean bulking. I actually train as a calisthenics athlete, so I don't have absolutely huge muscles, but it's because I don't do bodybuilding. But if I did, then it would give me much larger muscles and I have a body physique of a bodybuilder. But I look more like a gymnast because I do 
calisthenics. So you can do the specific training that you want to do to achieve the body type that you want. You don't necessarily need to achieve the body that I have, but yeah, as you can see, look at that. There's hardly anything you can grab on me. Super, super low body fat. And a lot of people say it's hard and you can see very clear, visible abs and V cut as well. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with my body for obvious reasons. And yeah, since I got into intermittent fasting and calisthenics in under six months, I gained over 10 kilos of muscle, which is absolutely amazing. Completely free from all pharmaceuticals that a lot of people in the bodybuilding movement use. And just through intermittent fasting, training correctly, eating a whole foods plant-based diet, and just having many other amazing healthy lifestyle practices on a regular basis. So yeah, don't be concerned about eating an abundance of calories with one meal a day, because there's people like myself and many other people, such as Blake201, who is a lot older than me. He's got to be around 40 years old plus, and he has a super low body fat percentage. He has bigger muscles than me because he does bodybuilding and he eats a load of garbage food as well, which I don't recommend doing that. But yeah, he's showing that, yeah, you can even do it with eating the most unhealthiest food possible as well. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give it a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about how they can go in the direction of sustaining and maintaining one meal a day with ease, just like I have managed to and completely eliminate my hunger fully, which is just absolutely amazing. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button by clicking it down below to receive a lot more what I eat in a day videos with one meal a day. Also many one meal a day informational videos, calisthenics workout videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving the fitness levels, the energy levels, and the body you desire as well. So as always, stay strong, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.